suppose I'll start by asking um, how the film came together, because it's a really interesting topic that you guys have, a really interesting take on the subject of tourism. Well, we actually started the film a really long time ago. <laughs> Note to filmmakers, don't give up. Um, we, we started the film in 1999. And in fact, like just a, uh, bet- around that time or uh, soon after, I decided to do my dissertation in anthropology okay. to look at the same topic. So I had been both a, I had been a backpacker myself. And, um, and I was interested from a personal perspective, but then also as I became, uh, as it became the anthropological topic of my research, mm. um, tourism in Bolivia and traveler stories and how that fostered tourism globalization Um, then I decided you know to combine those interests both personal and professional and um, decided to make a film about the topic because we thought it would be a really compelling uh, important story to tell Um, and and, and with with that uh, uh, being um, said uh, can you you know comment Mr. Estrella on uh, what the approach you had with the film in terms of its uh, cinematography uh, first of all, we decided early on, or Peggy did, uh, being that she's the traveler, the backpacker, <laughs> she decided that she wanted to do uh, lifestyle, follow backpackers through Mali, through Bolivia, through Thailand, and we did for that, we did that in 99. But then uh, she started to see the effects of tourism on those places that we were visiting with those backpackers and travelers. And that's when we became aware that we had to change the, the way to show this story. Uh, one, by showing storytelling as the means to communicate how word of mouth gets from one place to another. Meaning if I tell you a story and it's so awesome, uh, right away you want to go to that place. Right. And that's something that happens in the movie and she could tell you about the Bolivian story. Well, well, also, I think, you know, in terms of cinematography, too, um, you know, it was really trying to capture the subculture on, on the road. Um, and I think Melvin did an amazing job doing that. And, um, and in terms of the storytelling, I mean, stories were part of, again, part of my research. I was looking at that, which is what we do as anthropologists oftentimes. But also because both of us have been involved in, in a storytelling group called The Moth, which is all about just telling stories. And, um, and so I incorporated that both in the longer tracing some stories over 30 years, but then also in terms of the film, having a couple standalone storytellers that just, you know, were re- stories that were related to the film, but were not part of the, the film stories that we did over 30 years. Okay. Well, you know, with filmmaking, with any type of filmmaking, whether it's with a documentary or any type of genre that you're dealing with, you know, being a part of the film, you become very passionate about everything that you capture for the film. How do you, how did you guys come to the decision on what was going to be kept in the final cut of the film, and how difficult was that to decide what was going to be left on the cutting room floor versus what ended up as the, you know, the theatrical cut? Well, I spent a lot of time editing our editor <laughs> with our editor, and um, we actually cut out countries, entire countries. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so I'm sorry, Lao. I'm sorry, Burkina Faso, and I'm sorry, Peru, <laughs> that we couldn't include it. But we actually we're gonna use that footage in other ways, and um, oh, okay. hopefully in the near future in a new online platform that we're developing. So check out our website for more soon on that on GringoTrails.com. It will be collaborative, and travelers can participate from on the road. And also, I remember uh, debating over whether we keep, um, let's say, a big part of a story because we felt very passionate about a story. Mm -hmm. But as it turned out, uh, sometimes you could tell a lot with little, and that was very difficult, but we got to the point of seeing that sometimes just a little taste of something Mm -hmm. is so much better than having a lot of footage uh, just for footage's sake, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, you, you know, you guys have this film premiering today. Um, are you guys going to continue the film festival circuit or, you know, are you, do you already have another, you know, film that's kind of gestating that, that you'll, you know, get to work on immediately? Well, um, well, actually, we're premiering in D.C. today, but we right. premiered in New York City, and we've been traveling around with it in the festival. So we definitely, we're going to be going to some more festivals, both here and in the States, and also um, elsewhere. We're going to North mm-hmm. Carolina, coming up at the River Run International. We're going to um, uh, a bunch of Sebastopol next week, Sebastopol, Sonoma. Come out to wine country. It's beautiful, I hear. <laughs> so we'll be screening there next week, and then we'll continue on the festival circuit before we start the next project, because we know how long this one took. <laughs> uh, 
is that uh, our film has and this I know a lot of filmmakers think if you didn't do Sundance and if you didn't do the big festivals well you're dead it's going to end there not true in our case we've gotten more press now than we've ever had and, and actually it's just we're we're really thrilled about that because it's getting people to know about the film and mm -hmm. about the topic Mm -hmm. you know about this issue and looking at the impact and and so that's helped us a lot in our film taking a, that route it's taking a different route, different um, route so you never know there's all, there's all sorts of ways to reach yeah. people so whenever yeah. I hear somebody say yeah. well I don't have a publicist and I don't have the money to compete with those big films do it yourself <laughs> we're doing it we, we, we do online uh, promotion we do we call people we, we do Facebook we do everything but the point is, we haven't had one uh, screening with almost full room. I mean, we almost fill it up every time. So we're very, very happy. So we're hoping tonight we have a full house. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, bring your friends, too. All right. All thank right. You. Great. Well, well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for your time. Okay. And uh, good luck with the, the film tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Real pleasure.